Hey everybody, it's CTB Gaming, and welcome to a video that I didn't know that I was going to be making, but due to recent events, I feel like it is important that I do make it. As you can tell by the title, this will be the final video I'm going to be uploading to CTB Gaming for now, and there are a couple reasons why that is. First of all, uh, the reason why I haven't been uploading recently is because if you follow me for a long time, you know that school has always been the main hindrance, and I recently graduated from college with a bachelor's degree in psychology, so there's that. Tyler's also been doing fine. He's still fathering that little ankle biter, and I trust trust me, I will 1v1 in one day. It's going to be my most anticipated video I've ever made in my life. You may have seen us in one of I'm Marksman's most recent videos as well. The police, I'm loose lips. Type 56 try hard. I died to type 56 by the way as well. Keep in track. Keep in track. Hey, got the CDL skins on. I am absolutely bitch slapping them with a pistol though. <laughs> I'm telling you. Too many people just dick ride the one weapon. I don't get it. Let it be known from here on out that Tyler is canonically a dick rider according to Marksman. Another reason why I haven't been uploading is because at the beginning of the year I was trying to keep consistent upload schedule, but what you haven't seen obviously because there's no dislikes is that I have been getting like negative dislike ratios on every single video I've been making and that really hindered my motivation to upload. I went into this year thinking that I was going to really try to keep it consistent, but that just killed all ki kind of motivation that to make videos because, like, I was putting all that effort into those videos and just not getting sometimes any likes at all on the videos. So there was that. But the primary reason why this is going to be my last video is because recently I have been getting... A a lot of TOS strikes and you may, you may have noticed it when I re-uploaded the uh, tons of censored content video that got up re-uploaded to that and that was for hate speech now the problem with getting TOS strike for hate speech is that I can't tell when it actually is hate speech or not it's the idea of hate speech is very vague in what it is and what it isn't. And really, I feel like it sometimes just comes down to what you personally feel is hate speech, which can get annoying. But on top of that, in March, I got another TOS strike that was for the SPR RPG spotter scope video, which it was a half hour long. So all that editing got put to waste because that video got taken down. They rejected my appeal on top of that. And so that's a strike that's currently on my channel that gets erased at the end of June. Recently, earlier this month, I got another TOS strike for the Warzone sensitivity training video. And that was also for hate speech. But what's interesting is that I managed to repeal that and it actually got accepted. The video got put back up. Apparently... It wasn't violating the sex and nudity policy, which is not what they told me. And on top of that, they decided to age restrict the video immediately after reappealing it. So, uh, you know, I went, I decided to go and fuck myself after that because that's basically what they were telling me. But yeah, that's why I have decided that I probably won't be uploading any more to this channel because I don't want to risk getting any more TOS strikes. And the reason why I specifically made a video talking about all this is because if you've noticed recently... I've actually privatized a lot of my more recent MW2 videos and really any video that has us talking in game chat with people because I feel that I don't want to have those videos public if they could risk me getting another strike. Now I am aware that privatizing a video doesn't immediately make it immune to not getting striked and I'm also aware that even if you delete a video it can still get striked uh, even after it gets deleted. So recently what I did was I actually, along with privatizing them, I edited the videos using the YouTube editor and I trimmed it down to like 10 seconds. And so I basically gutted the video of all content because what I'm assuming is that if I edit out all of the content in the video, what will happen is the YouTube bot won't be able to detect it then. So if it's going to strike the video, it's going to strike a video that if I send in an appeal for, 
it's going to be only a 10 second video. And so it shouldn't get confirmed as hate speech or whatever I get strike for at this point because the clips of it aren't really there. Again, I don't know if this is going to be a foolproof strategy because there's always a possibility that the YouTube bot could detect the original video, which is still, I can still revert the video back to the original, which is why I am kind of worried that it could do that. The bot could find the content in the original video and strike me for that. But again, it isn't on YouTube right now, so I don't really know how that would strike my video since the video is on YouTube, but it's condensed down to 10 seconds where the said clips that would get the strike aren't there, if that makes any sense. I understand if that's kind of hard to understand, but that's basically what I've been doing. Now, I understand if that is some bad news for some of you that do enjoy my videos. I mean, some of you are dedicated. I know that since you always come back after my breaks. But this is what I feel is for the best for me because the problem is that I want to dedicate more time to the imponderable. It has been doing relatively good despite it being a small channel and all but the problem is that it is connected to the same email as ctb gaming is connected to so if ctb gaming goes down that channel is going to go down with it and i don't want to possibly have to restart everything i've done on that channel because ctb gaming got taken down i was considering changing it uh everything that i had in the imponderable to the imponderable shorts but after sitting around for a while and waiting for CTB Gaming to get just terminated, I felt like, you know, I have time to stop this from happening, or at least attempting to stop it from happening. So that's what I have tried to do with editing down the videos. The videos that, that are still on my channel could get taken down for all I know. Again, I it's subjective what hate speech is on this platform. But as long as my channel is still up, it might be a testament to how this strategy of editing down your video could work to prevent those kinds of TOS strikes. But with that, I do want to say that I will be still doing stuff for the Imponderable, and I still will try to get music up on Carson Butler if I even can figure out how to produce stuff. However, if you are really dedicated to my gaming content, and if you still are thirsting for that kind of content, I will still be posting videos on CTB Gaming Shorts. I will be posting clips from recent sessions that I've had with Tyler, and there have been a lot of sessions that I've had with him. And I will try to upload the most entertaining stuff from those sessions up there. Now, I still have all of my videos I have uploaded to YouTube on all my channels in a certain section of my file explorer. So, the reason why I say for now in the title is because I feel like sometime down the line I will get an opportunity to revitalize CTB Gaming in some way. And maybe with that, I'll be able to make like some sort of a Patreon, some sort of service where if you throw me a few bucks, you can get access to all the videos that I have privatized and stuff like that. It does suck that after all the time I have dedicated to this channel, I have to abandon it. But at the end of the day, it's for the best in my eyes. And really, this channel has been kind of a burden because, I mean... I'm not making money off of it, the videos aren't really getting a, a ton of views, and they take a lot of time to make, and that's just been distracting me so much from making the other kinds of content for the other channels, and I feel like dedicating more time to those channels could allow me to make something that I simply can't anymore with this channel. So, thank you for all of you that have stayed with me. Whether you've come from the Rage compilations and I've stayed around, or you simply took a fancy to my gaming videos that I make myself. Again, I will not be going anywhere if you follow my other channels, but for now, this has been CTB Gaming. At least the main channel, this, this short content will still be existing. It's kind of what makes this video weird to make, because technically CTB Gaming is alive on a different channel, but not the main channel. But I hope I entertained you on this channel to your heart's content. Obviously, there's a lot of more content they can look back on if you miss the current content. Granted, it's not as well edited as my most recent videos, but it is what it is. So, with all that being said, I will see you guys on one of my other channels or maybe sometime in the future. 
I will see you on C2B Gaming again. So until then, bye guys.